Hey friends, so if you've hung around me for a little while and watched any of my tutorials, you know that I love me some chat GPT. I use it for my business. I use it in my group coaching program. I use it all the time. Probably almost every single day I use chat GPT. But one of the frequent things that I see over and over and over is people that are my age. So I'm not judging people because you're my age, um, you know, 50 plus that have no idea what chat GPT is. They do not how to do not know how to utilize it and they're scared of it <laughs> for some reason. So um, I'm making this little tutorial video here to put you at ease about utilizing chat GPT and to give you the basics. So um, yeah, let's get into it. I am going to include all the instructions that I'm giving you um, down in the description so you can copy and paste them and or write them down or whatever. So this should be pretty easy um, tutorial for you today. Okay, so what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is, let me give you the, the written um, description of what it it stands for generative pre-trained transformer and to be honest with you I did not even know what um, that it meant until I was preparing for this lesson <laughs> so you don't have to know what the what the definition of something is to utilize it um, don't let it scare you uh, basically in a nutshell chat GPT is like Google, 10x or 100x or 1000x probably. I look at ChatGPT as being my personal assistant slash my mentor. Um, it is a device, a software, a program that can literally scour the internet in a matter of seconds and answer your questions for you. Um, the trick to it is being extra bossy. And um, if you are 50 years old or older, you're either a Gen Xer or you're a baby boomer and we can be bossy. So you already have the first prerequisite for making chat GPT work. Um, so again, that's how you need to look at it. Like it is a the smartest assistant or mentor that you could have access to in a couple of clicks. OK, so. The trick to using ChatGPT is writing prompts. So prompts are just commands or instructions. Remember, you need to be extra bossy and you need to be an extra micromanager when you're writing these prompts. But before we get into prompts, I'm going to walk you through the steps of exactly how to um, find ChatGPT and how to set it up. Okay. So number one, you're going to go to the website which is um, chat.openai.com. So again, it's going to be down in the description down below, chat.openai.com. It is not an app for your phone, okay? That's where a lot of people mess up as they go look for ChatGPT in the app store. It's not an app, okay? You have to use your browser to go to the website. So once you are on the website, now you're going to sign up and log in. It is uh, free to get an account. I actually have a paid account because I want it to do some extra things for me. But when you're first getting started, just open that free account. And it's as easy as signing up for an email. You're just going to put in your information and you're in. Okay. So once you're in, you're going to see a chat box. Let me show it to you real quick. Okay, so this is what ChatGPT is going to look like. Um, it's going to may look a little bit different because I have some extra prompts here um, on my screen that you may not see. But down here at the very bottom where it says press forward slash to search AIPRM prompts, that is your chat box. Okay, so that's where you're going to type in your prompts. You're going to attach any files you want to attach. Um, and so I would just take a few minutes when you first get started and just kind of play around with all the different tabs and everything so you could just get a feel for it. OK, so let's talk about um, writing your first prompt. OK, hold on just one second. OK, let's start with something super duper easy. Let's say, for example, you want to make banana bread. Um, 
like for real, like let's just make it super easy. So let's let's type in a prompt. Um, I would like to make some banana bread. Um, and can you please give me a simple recipe? Okay. And then you just hit enter and you wait a second and then it's going to give you a recipe. Okay. But let's say, oh my gosh, well, I forgot to give it in. I forgot to tell it it needs to be gluten free. Okay. So now after you receive, after it finishes writing your prompt for you, um, now you say, See, it says, enjoy your brand bread with coffee, tea, or a quick snack. Okay, so now you say, now can you give me a gluten-free recipe? And then it's going to do that for you. So that the reason that I made it just a very simple prompt just to show you guys is because you can't you could give it new instructions. So if you give the give ChatGPT a prompt. And then uh, instructions, remember prompts are just instructions, then you can amend it, you can change it, you can update it, you can start over. Now, if you want to start over, you're going to click, go over here to the top left screen and you're just going to click chat GPT and that's going to give you a new area for a new prompt. Okay, so let's talk for just a second. I'm just going to go back to the screen with just me for a second. Hold on. Okay, so I want to talk for a second about um, examples of prompts and how to write prompts effectively. Okay, because that was just a, a brief example on you know how to how to do banana bread. So let's say that your dog has gone to the vet and your vet and your dog's been acting a little bit weird and your vet did lab work on your dog and your vet calls and leaves you a voicemail and says, um, uh, Petunias lab work looked okay looked pretty good her the white blood cell was a little bit elevated but i'm not really that concerned about it um if you have any questions or concerns call me back and you know that anytime you call a doctor back it's going to take five business days for you to get back with them so you're like well what is, what does a white elevated white blood cell count mean in a dog what could that mean and so you would probably still need to call your vet, but in the meantime, you can use ChatGPT. So when you're writing a prompt for ChatGPT, again, you want to be very, very specific. So instead of saying, um, what does an elevated white blood cell count in a dog mean? That wouldn't be a good prompt. I mean, you could, you could write, there's nothing like wrong with that prompt, but it, it could be a lot better. Okay. You're going to get much better results if you say something like, um, my vet called, you give every instruction, my vet called and said my dog's white cell, blood cell count is elevated. He is not sick or acting sick. Explain to me, as if you are an experienced veterinarian, what an elevated white blood cell count means in, for a dog that is 13 years old and in generally good health and explain it to me in simple terms. So that's going to yield to you a much better result giving all of those details. Does that make sense? Or let's say you want to look into life insurance policies. Instead of saying something like, what kind of life insurance policy is good? That's going to give you very, very generic, you know, like Google type results. You would instead you would say, I'm a 58 year old female in excellent health. I am needing life insurance to cover burial costs and pay off a mortgage if I were to die. What are my options for coverage for these needs? And can you provide five re reputable companies for me to further investigate? See how that's going to give you much more. Like I would encourage you to try doing it both ways, giving a very general question and then being much more detailed. So for example, another example would be for like in, in business, if I am looking to write some content for um, or write some scripts for TikTok videos, let's just say that. Okay. And I want to write some scripts for working from home. Okay. I could just go to chat GPT and I could say, I would like 10 scripts to attract people that are looking to work from home that's it. I could just say that. 
that would yield some extremely general um, scripts for me. But what I really need to do is I need to explain who I am as a business owner, what services I offer, and the exact detail of who my ideal customer is before I need to let, I need to give ChatGPT, like you wouldn't just hire an assistant or hire a media company and just say, give me some scripts. No, they would ask you, you know, who they would ask you all of those questions. So make sure you're giving chat GPT the full story, in other words. So if you need, if you have a, a prompt of any kind that, or if you have a question of any kind before that you, and you can't seem to be uh, getting the kind of answer that you want from chat GPT, or you just don't know how to write a prompt, please type your question in the comments and I will help you write a prompt. It's, it, it's going to, it will take some finessing guys. You can even go to chat GPT and ask chat GPT, how do I write an effective prompt? You can use it for that. Um, you can do, you can have chat GPT. Like if you have your grandkids for the day and you say, what are some, um, rainy day activities that I can do with my grandkids that are ages six and 10. Like for real, um, be very, very specific and ask, um, ask any question you want. So get, and get creative. You can ask for book recommendations or hobbies to try, or you can even ask chat GPT to help you with a crossword puzzle <laughs> project that you're working on. Remember, you are utilizing chat GPT, ch chat, chat GPT, blah, 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 tongue twister, as your personal assistant or a mentor, mentor that you have access to 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can utilize chat GPT to write eBooks, to write, help you write books, to formulate a PowerPoint. Guys, the, uh, the options are unlimited because the is a, so I hope this was helpful. If you have any further questions or you'd like to, for me to make a tutorial about specific tasks that you could do with ChatGPT, please comment down below. Uh, make sure you check out my um, breakthrough group coaching program. I have a free seven day course. If you would like more detailed trainings on, um, you know, taking your business to the le next level, um, with training from me, I, I like to break things down into super duper simple steps. Also, I am a Christian business owner, so I do have a um, sometimes one one to two times a week. I send out texts just of encouragement for Christian business, other Christian business owners. So if you'd like to be a part of that, that phone number is up in the banner on my YouTube channel. Um, you just text the word encourage encourage to 210-670-6770 and I'll be happy to send you out that text to give you some encouragement as a Christian business owner. So thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, and follow and I will catch you again later. Bye-bye.